What is going on to YouTube? Lamont at large today. We are in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. The address where I'm standing at is 2235 Route 70. I'm in this park type serene setting. I've just uh, fed the many squirrels here some peanut butter and jelly crackers and they are digging them. No pun intended. So today I'm here because, well, I'm at the site right in front of you right here. The site where used to be a place called the Latin Casino. And this is where on September 29th, 1975, Jackie Wilson conducted his last performance before suffering a massive heart attack on stage. So he was performing here. Uh, under Dick Clark's uh, good old rock and roll review, uh, he was performing with other acts from like the 50s and the 60s, like the Coasters, uh, the Drifters, the, all that stuff. And so on that night, uh, he's performing, and during the song uh, Lonely Teardrops, he starts singing the line in that song, My Heart is Crying. And then he clutches his chest and he collapses on stage. Now, everybody thought that this was like part of the act of, of what he was doing, you know. But sadly, it was not. No, this was no act. No, he had suffered a massive, massive heart attack. And mind you guys, Jackie Wilson was only 41 years old at the time of his heart attack. And the reason why he suffered this heart attack is because during his performances... Uh, he would take these salt tablets, right? And he would take salt tablets because it would make him sweat. And, you know, the ladies loved a uh, sweaty Jackie Wilson. And after people started figuring out that this was not part of the show, uh, Dick Clark got on the mic and asked if there was a doctor in the house. And there was not, but however, there was a nurse. And then Cornell Gunther, he actually starts doing CPR in you can say this man saved Jackie Wilson's life. So by the time the ambulance comes, they rush him to a nearby hospital. And they did end up saving his life. But unfortunately, the damage had already been done. Um, he had went without oxygen for an estimated 30 some odd minutes. And uh, for the rest of his life, uh, he would be in a semi vegetative coma but this is where the casino was located right here we're walking up right now to the care center where jackie wilson spent his final days uh, before he died uh really quickly i want to speak a little bit in, about uh, my opinion of jackie wilson uh oftentimes i feel that this guy doesn't really get the due that he deserves and it's because of a couple of different factors. Uh, well, number one, I mean, his career could have possibly have been bigger, except that, you know, he had a pretty big drug problem. And I think that affected a lot of his, you know, possibly his singing and songwriting abilities. And, uh, you know, Jackie Wilson, he lived a uh, really fast life. Uh, Jackie uh, loved women and they loved him he actually got arrested down in South Carolina for <laughs> I don't remember what the charge was but I uh, it, something with indecent something so he was in South Carolina and he was shacking up with this white lady and uh, you know you know back in those days uh, <laughs> they didn't like that they didn't like uh, this uh, black guy coming into the town good-looking dude uh, has a lot of money and uh, you know all the women they love jackie wilson he was a very very handsome guy uh, all races love jackie wilson all the women and uh you know he loved them back <laughs> and i think a lot of times uh, uh maybe a lot of people kind of didn't like that or honestly they're just jealous of him you know you, you had elvis presley who got a lot of his moves you know some say all of his moves we're not gonna have that debate in this video but uh they say yeah you know elvis presley got all of his moves from uh jackie michael jackson uh to say um amongst the many other entertainers 
And, uh, you know, Jackie Wilson did have a tragic turn in his life. One of his kids was murdered. I think it was back in the 60s. He had like a 16-year-old kid, and he had gotten into an argument with a neighbor. And uh, just, you know, fast living, drug use, um, this and that. I mean, it kind of derailed his career. And plus, um, his manager was stealing money from him. You know, after he died, uh, he was buried in like an unmarked pauper's grave uh, right by uh, Detroit. I did a video at his grave and I talked a little bit about his career. So I'll put that video in the description box below if you have not seen that video yet. But, uh, you know, Jackie was a, uh, it was a very, um, I don't know, it, it, he had a great career, but it was, it was kind of underwhelming because he should have been a way bigger star than he was. And it's just sometimes it's hard to kind of, you know, pinpoint where, uh, where it all went wrong. And, you know, doing those performances at the Latin Casino, you know, he, was, he wasn't he was coming out with new music. He was only 41 years old, but he wasn't coming out with any new music. He was like singing like all of his old songs. And, you know, you're, you're on this review, instead of him like performing where he's the star, he's performing with a bunch of other, I don't want to call them has-beens, but you know what I mean. And, uh, quite a sad end uh to his life because like i said i mean he, he could have it should have been a huge superstar and for a time he was i mean let's not forget there was a a little uh unknown band that was uh opening for him when he was performing in england this band was called the beatles and they were opening for jackie wilson it's quite amazing this is basically the care facility uh where jackie wilson uh spent his final days uh like i had said earlier he was in like a semi vegetative coma i don't believe he was able to speak and he had took a couple steps but for the most part um he was totally uh incapacitated and on uh, January 21st, 1984, at the age of 49, still a young guy, still a young guy. And that's what makes me really just kind of think about stories such as this. Uh, he died. And I'm not sure which bungalow he was at. I don't even think I, I even walked into the office and asked them if they can show me where he died. They would even know. But a uh, very serene environment. Yeah, truly a legend in uh, every sense of the word and just uh, had a great career early on. It ended, eh, but uh, could have been, it should have been a, a bigger star than he was. Okay, guys, just a little quick video, kind of a quick little talk about his uh, life, his career. And, uh, hey, you know, I have uh, another secret channel. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is. You guys will have to find it on your own. But uh, I don't know about you, but I want to go to that motel where he was arrested for, uh, you know, what, you know, with the white lady. So stupid. South Carolina, though. South Carolina back in those days was no buenos dias. Little videos like that, like a little two minute video just to show you like interesting little locations like that. I love doing those. Not on this channel though, but uh, maybe sometimes I will. Who knows? I guess uh, the views will always tell me what you guys like, but then, you know, sometimes I gotta do what I like, you know, but I always, you know, wanna do what you guys like. Anyways, guys, I'm out of here. I'm hitting the road. See you on the next video. Peace out.